Hello! I'm Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise, and on September 8th, the New York Post, Science News, and other media outlets ran stories about a report published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology describing a burial site in the Viking town of Burka dating back to the mid-10th century. Now, what made this discovery especially newsworthy was that it contained the remains of a Viking warrior who was recently discovered, through DNA testing, to actually be female, as opposed to male, which was previously assumed for years. Additionally, this warrior grave was also filled with various weapons and other important items, including a sword, armor-piercing arrows, and two horses. And as historically significant as this discovery is, another interesting little tidbit about it is that the warrior was also buried with a board game in her lap, complete with a full set of gaming pieces and of actual board. Which brings us to a segment that we like to call Board Games Throughout History. We know of one so, so far. Now, the various news reports that were published about the story provided very few details about the ancient Viking board game that was present at the burial site. Charlotte Hedenstierna Johnson, who led the study, stated that, quote, the gaming set indicates that she was an officer, someone who worked with tactics and strategy and could lead troops in battle. Now, curious about what game this possibly could have been, my research kept leading me to a game called Taffel, or also known as... Taffel. Taffel was an abstract strategy board game played on a checkered or latticed game board featuring two armies with uneven numbers. Now, the defending side's army was comprised of 12 soldiers and a king who start the game in a cross formation in the center of the board. Their objective is for the king to escape by reaching any of the four corner squares. Now, their opponent's army of 24 soldiers is positioned in groups around the perimeter of the board, and all the pieces move like rooks in chess, and pieces are taken by trapping an opponent's piece between two of your own. Taffel reportedly spread everywhere that the Vikings traveled like wildfire, and considering they were Vikings, wildfires probably also spread everywhere that they traveled. Uh, regardless, versions of the game spread across northern Europe all the way from 400 BC up through the 12th century, when it was eventually supplanted by the game that we now know as chess. It's unknown whether the game discovered with this Viking warrior actually was Taffel, and actually, uh, I've become rather skeptical that it is, after researcher Johnson added that this was, quote, more of a war planning game used to try out battle tactics and strategies, indicative of a game owned by a powerful military leader. But regardless of which game it actually was, it is neat to see that board games have a small place of significance in this historic discovery. And I want to know, do you have more information about the game found in this Viking burial excavation? Or do you know of a point in history that games have also played a significant part in? Well, if so, let me know in the comments below. Charlotte had oh I should have learned how to pronounce her name Charlotte Hedenstierna 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 okay Smith <laughs>